Uh, that's the question everybody's asking. The, were you the one who set the trap on Coach <laughs> Trader's podium? Um, I'll just plead the fifth of that one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what was that moment like in the meeting? It was pretty funny. Um, I don't know. I guess it was up there. I don't know how I didn't see it. He just put his hand down casually and then snapped. And, yeah, it was pretty funny. It seems like that's been a big message for you guys the last couple of days. How is that landing with the group? What does it mean to you? Don't eat the cheese. Yeah, well, it first started as my first year, actually, my true freshman year. Um, I remember we had it on the back of our shirts, our travel shirts, because um, that was a big don't eat the cheese year. Um, so it's kind of just getting back to that. Um, you know, we started slow, and there was a lot of kind of the opposite stuff. And now, you know, we're winning some games. We just don't want to get over, you know, too high, too high on ourselves, um, especially with this trap game, some would call it. Um, we just want to continue to lock in and just do us, and, you know, we don't want to let, let go of what we've been doing. Along those lines, Jeff said you guys reviewed some of the negative things that have been said about you in the past few weeks and months. What does that do for the group to see some of that stuff up on the board? Um, I think that's good. Um, I guess it depends on who it is. Me, personally, you know, that's the outside noise doesn't really do anything for me, whether it's positive or negative. I'm just going to continue to, you know, do what I do every single day. Um, but for some guys to see that, um, just continue to hold on, that, hold on to that and use that as motivation. It's good for some people. Was there anything that went up there that kind of surprised you or made you laugh or sort of hit with you? Um, yeah, there's some funny things, which is firing coaches and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, I, like I said, I just laugh at it, take it with a grain of salt and, you know, move on. Trey, what's your review of the play of the defense this past game? I thought it was good. Um, we still had, I believe, one play over 25 yards, which we want to, you know, cut that down to zero um, in a perfect world. Um, and, you know, we still got some things to work on, but overall it was good. How would you, uh, what, what's been the main reason you guys have been able to get so much pressure in the backfield? Uh, I think it's just guys continue to win their one-on-ones and, and being intentional about what they're doing um, and just playing, really playing together as a defense. I, I think that's really the biggest thing in, in terms of getting pressure, getting turnovers, everything, just playing together as a defense. Coach mentioned something about the defensive line and you, you're sort of part of that about, you know, being locked in, like how special this unit can be. Do, do you see that? Oh, definitely. Um, with Big Joe and, and B Brown, um, you know, all the guys across the board who we have, T-Bell, um, Nick Burke Brown, just everybody can make plays on this D-line. I, I really believe that um, it's just really about being disciplined and staying in our gaps um, and doing our 111. And if everyone does that, we can really we can be special. Coach told us in the locker room after the game against FAU that there was just a level of excitement that's been maybe a little bit higher than he's seen previously. What was that atmosphere like? Oh, um, no, it was fun. Um, you know, there were some things going on that we all knew about, um, but we really just came together as a team. Um, it was a road trip. We knew about what happened last time. We went to FAU a couple years ago. Um, I wasn't there for that, but you know, it's, it's part of you know the team still. There's a lot of players who went through that. So everyone was just really excited about this win for sure. What made it so different to, to hit at a higher level? That's something that really you know brought those emotions out of your group. Uh, I'm, I think it was just a bunch of things uh, coming together. I'm um, just going on the road trip and you know just the way we won the game. I mean that that was part of it, of course. Um, everyone just having fun. We got a, a lot of guys get to got, got to go in and. And a lot of guys made plays. Um, so really just the way it happened and, you know, all, all the things that came together, it was it provided for a lot of excitement. Do you feel like this team overall is kind of hitting at its highest level? How do you assess the group as a whole right now? No, not our highest level, but I think we're continuing to get better each game. We're just continuing to stack days, stack weeks, stack games, stack plays. Um, and we keep doing that. We're going to keep going up and up and up. So. Do you see any specific differences from early in the season, like ways those improvement has shown? I would say just playing together as a team. Um, We've had some games now where a lot of the faces have come together um, as, and became one whole of a triangle um, and just, you know, cutting down the MAs and just playing together. Get your eye on that sack record. Uh, I'm just, you know, trying to do my best every game. Yeah. And if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You seem like you're getting better each week. Are you getting healthier or are you just getting better at managing it? How's that playing out? Um, it's a little bit of both, uh, I will admit. Um, I am getting healthier, but part of it, just managing it. Um, it's part of football. It's, it's going to be, you know, pain when you play football. So just, you know, it's part of the game. Cool. Thank you, Trey. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.